Hi, welcome to another video by Geek97. My name is Dhananjay Kumar. <clears throat> in this video, let us learn what is the purpose of object.keys in JavaScript. And also if you come across a requirement to print all the properties of an object or enumerate through all the properties of an object, then how would you do that? So to start with, let us say that we have an object called dog. And this object has two properties, name and value of that is foo and is value of that is nine. Now we wish to print all the properties of this uh, dog object. One option is to use for loop. In the for loop, you can go and say that, hey, where p in dog. So for in loop helps us to iterate through all the properties of an object. And then here you can say that console.log and p. What it will do, it will iterate through the object and you will get name and age here printed. If you wish to print the values, just use this property as an array index here and you should be able to get, get the values. Anyway, so you saw that here we can use a for in loop to print all the properties. Other option is, if you don't wish to use a for loop, you can use object.keys which returns an array of the properties. So here we can go and say that, hey, console.log object.keys and then print keys of dog object. And as you see that here you are getting name and age as an array, uh, which, which returns from object.keys. So you can use object.keys or you can use foreign uh, loop to print all the um, properties of an object. Let us go ahead and there is one major difference between these two and to understand that let us go ahead and create one more object and I call that object as animal and I say can eat of course all animals eat can eat true. Now I'm going to create a relationship between animal object and dog object and I can do that here and I can link these two objects using underscore underscore proto. So here now dog object and animal object are linked to each other. So let us comment this and uncomment now. Now what we are doing, we are using for in loop to print all the properties of dog object. And keep in mind that dog object is now linked to animal object. And in one way you can see that it is inheriting animal object. Inherit is a wrong word. So the better word is dog object is linked to animal object. And we have done that using underscore underscore proto. Now when I go and print properties of dog object using foreign uh, statement, you see here you are getting name, is and can eat. So what foreign statement does that it uh, prints an object's own property which is name and age in this case and also it will print ob properties of all the objects which is part of the prototype chain or the part of the uh, object which is linked to that particular object in that case that is can it. However, if you use object.keys and if you look at the output it only prints you name and age. So object.keys only print an object's own property means it will only print its own property and it would not print uh, properties which are coming from the prototype chain. So this is one major difference between object.keys and foreign statement you should keep in mind. Other thing which is not a, which is not a difference but you should understand that for in a statement and object.keys uh, both work in the same manner in that scenario. So what I'm going to do here I'm going here and saying that hey object dot define property and here I take this dog and name property for example and here I'm saying that make that name as name property as false. So I'm using here property descriptor and setting the enumerable property to false for dog's name uh, uh, property. Now what happens that when I use for a statement, for in statement to print that and if you notice here 
it prints you only age and can eat it ignores the name property because of course we have set enumerable there to false and just to keep it simple i'm going to um, delete that linking also now if you look at the output only it prints you the age because that enumerable for dog is set to false same would be the case when you use object dot keys and when you run this it also returns you an array but but that array contains only the age property not the name property because that is set uh, to that's enumerable is set to false so this is uh, uh, both object dot keys and and, and uh, foreign statement works in the same manner when enumerable is set to false uh, object dot keys only prints its own property of an object and uh, fall in loop would print an object's its own property properties plus it would print all the properties from the prototype chain uh, so I hope now you know how to enumerate true properties of an object and when to use object dot keys and when to use uh, foreign state uh, foreign loop uh, so I hope you find this video useful uh, my name is uh, Dhananjay Kumar and uh, you can connect with me on a Twitter with the handle debug underscore mode. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video.